What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So not much of a gameplay video here, but I did want to talk about this 3060D rig setup here for the priority tier. This is really cool and this is coming out of those data centers that happen to have the super pods. I am on the updated app, the 2.0.34 I believe it is. If you're still on the .33, then you're still waiting for the update for adaptive sync and that type of thing. But you can see here when you hit control N, you can now see your rig too. That's a new addition, uh, 3060, 2080, whatever it may be, you're going to be able to see it over there so you don't need the control alt f6 anymore that brings up the other uh, debug tool up in the top to see your rig you can do that all with control n now so getting into the settings here for watchdogs legions for example on the 3060d rig here for the priority tier um, i'm going to have everything just maxed out ultra uh, ray tracing balance on dlss and this is to hit the system a little bit i'm not expecting like this isn't where i would set it to play it because i would want 60 fps but i really wanted to see what would happen here because we do have that thread ripper CPU going on now with 16 threads and that's going to make a big difference in how smooth these games run and you're going to see a really steady frame time here um, that means a lot because we're not getting huge dips and sporadic uh, performance so even at a lower frame rate it still stays pretty smooth now if i adjusted this to 60 it would just look insane it would look that much better i would have to drop some graphics down and i would do that to play the game but i wanted to show here what a cpu what you can get when you're not bottlenecked by the cpu which does happen on some of the older rigs sometimes and uh this is really really cool to see now i don't want to go through the whole thing let's jump to the end here and here's where you can see the amd ryzen thread ripper of course we know this is going to be part of the rtx 3080 tiers as well uh whatever setup they may have when that releases but this is really cool that there's priority members that while not guaranteed sometimes you might wind up on one of these newer 3060d rigs with that thread ripper and your performance is going to be really good on top of that We've got Adaptive Sync, and this is part of the app update. This goes for all tiers. Everybody gets to take advantage of that as well. And Adaptive Sync is much be best explained by, you know, it's like G-Sync, but for cloud. Um, Adaptive Sync does a lot to smooth out these frames, get rid of a lot of the stutters. And latency here on this 3060D rig, and even on the 2080D rig, even on the older rigs, with Adaptive Sync and the updated app, the latency feels so much closer to local the experience is really getting good it's no joke and after this experience with these three games on the 3060 on the priority tier playing this way i have a lot more confidence and excitement for the 3080 rig that it's going to meet the claims that they have of being at local or sometimes beating it i, I just really do this this really feels awesome i, I Right here in Cyberpunk, again, on the 3060D rig here, uh, this doesn't have to be ray chasing on right now. I'm just walking around here. You'll see me kind of flicking the stick around a little bit. I'm, I was just kind of amazed trying to figure out if I could feel the latency. It, it was that good. Um, it just, it really was feeling so close to like my local console to me uh, playing. It was really, really good. And so huge future, uh, fantastic feature, the adaptive sync. Even if you're not on a new rig, this is really good stuff. Uh, smoothing out the frames and getting that latency figured out. This just looked gorgeous. Now this is going to be um, ray tracing on here. This is ultra outside, so everything maxed out just to see what would happen with DLSS on balanced. Uh, again, I probably wouldn't play the game this way, even though it looks gorgeous. I kind of try to target 60 when it comes to cloud, but it was able to run it really well again because we're not getting huge stutters in game because the CPU is not a bottleneck anymore and um, it's able to run things really, really well here. Uh, very impressive. And here I've changed the settings to something that would allow me to get closer to that 60 uh, target. And again, it felt fantastic and the game looks great. And um, this is just telling me a lot about the future for GeForce Now, not just the new RTX 3080 tier, but the the, the quality of the service overall and, and what their features uh, mean. And here again, in, in uh, Riders Republic, a game that's really growing on me on the RTX 3080. Uh, 60 rig here, adaptive sync on the new app, all that kind of stuff going on, and it felt amazing. This game damn near felt local on the priority tier on this 3060. Really cool. Again, it's it's just a taste, right? This isn't something guaranteed. You can't always worry about what rig you're getting on. It's just within the parameters, and um, it's, it's really cool. And if this is the future to where eventually maybe these are the rigs that are available, maybe this new setup with the super pods they have is going to be what becomes the service, and that's really exciting because what I'm seeing is something I've never seen in cloud yet. Um, really impressive. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video. As always, if you haven't, subscribe, thumbs up, ring the bell, and leave me your comment. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.